Hey, Jesse. Hey, Robin. Hey, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. We're just excited to learn about Jesse's little tricks on command. That's it. All the more we can learn, the better off we're going to be. That's right. And did your morning consist of um, some calls, Miss Robin? Oh, so I, I'm a dual career agent, so I work full time for Pima County. So my calls can't really happen in the morning. Oh, so I work on the computer for the county mostly, but I have a closing today and the deed recorded and going down to deliver keys right after work. So that's exciting. Oh, how much fun. Best part. This is a good day. <laughs> That's good. Um, tell tell us more about this transaction. Like just like how exciting it is to you. Well, this was one. Um, so I did a bunch of house hunting, and these they rent, and they ended up buying the house next door. They heard that their neighbor wanted to sell. So Big Dan stepped in and called them and helped manage the FISBO. And so they agreed to sell it to my buyers and they're buying this house and it's really beautiful. It's like the same house that they're renting but everything inside is upgraded and beautiful on a corner lot. And they're super excited and they're gonna save $300 a month on their payment going to the mortgage from what they're paying for rent. So like, that's just amazing to me that it really does work out like that. Wow. And so, their landlord will have to find a new tenant. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> for wow. sure. It's like Batman and Robin. Robin swoops in to save the day. <laughs> yeah, Big Dan and Robin. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that even sounds kind of like that. Right. Big Dan and Robin. <laughs> oh. I want to wow. make a graphic like that. It'd be funny. If only I were that talented. So um, that's really cool that like they're right next door and um and yeah, it would be cool for us to have a deal like that where somebody like a neighbor sees a property that we have listed and can move in kind of thing. Um, That's exactly yeah. what happened. <laughs> well, what happened, honey? <laughs> so for our listing on Eaton Drive, the neighbor noticed that they were, that we were getting ready to sell. So they're like, oh, we want to buy it. So. <laughs> perfect yeah yeah so they don't want to have two houses do they what was that they don't want to have two houses do they tell robin a little bit more uh no they don't um to answer that question but yeah pretty cool stuff hi ezra <laughs> there's Dada. hi ezra Hi, Robin. You say that. Hi, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. How's your daughter doing, Robin? She's doing well. Thank you for asking. So she's in her last year of nursing school, and she just took some big um, exam that's like gauges their readiness for the NCLEX, and she did really well. So she's happy. Oh, for, for, for oh, interesting An exam. Yeah. That's cool. And um, you said that she doesn't want to join you in real estate. She does not, but I'm going to try and get my brother to join me. So he's um, a school teacher in New York right now. Yeah. And he, he also has like a used car lot, Like he's a wheeler dealer. <laughs> he's just, he's so funny and he would be great at marketing and so he has property out here in Sonoida and wants to retire out here in like three or four years. So I want to try and get him involved. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Have you gotten anybody else involved? Not yet. I tried. There's one fellow at my work who took um, 
the Hogan course, but he's not going to pursue his license. He's got a big job with Pima County, and so he's not interested. Oh. I wanted him to do it, though. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's always interesting. I guess people just want to learn a little bit, but yeah, that he could get his license and then there's a, still a world of opportunities out there. How, who, who got you into Keller Williams? So it was my work. It was my job with Pima County. They wanted us to take, um, so I'm the subdivision coordinator. So I'm in charge of releasing the lots to the builders mm. and Pima County accepting the streets and the infrastructure into maintenance. So okay. they wanted me to take the real estate course um, just to learn what I could learn. But then once I took the exams and got my license, it was like, well, oh, something with this, yeah, let's do something with this. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. And for me, it'd be my perfect retirement career. Uh huh. Why is that? You're so good at questions, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to ask me a question. I just am excited to interview Miss Robin. And then I want to know all about it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So when I can retire from Pima County, then I love property. I always have. I was a land surveyor. And it would it's just the perfect career for me to keep going. Oh, well, it's like... Perfect then. I, I thought you were going to say something about keeping in touch with all your sphere, but everybody has a good different angle at it. That would be mine though for retirement. Just get to stay in touch with everybody. Don't drop off the edge of the earth. Well, I love that real estate is relationships and I, I mean, I get to know so many more people and make more friends and it's wonderful for that. Yeah. And now um, one other last question. What did you do uh, for the, um, the, you know, when you, when you got to spend two nights? Oh, well, that was fun. Um, up at the Ritz. At the Ritz. Yeah. I was thinking of the name. Yeah. Dove Mountain Ritz Carlton. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I enjoyed the classes that we took during the day, but then I had Renee from our PC group. She came up and um, brought her bathing suit and we spent one afternoon at the pool with Kimmy and Josh Berkeley and so I got to hang out and meet some other people and have a lot of fun. Oh that's just so good to hear. Yeah. I can just imagine the pool surrounded by nothing but cacti. <laughs> I'm sure that's how it was. Oh that sounds beautiful. Mm. What did they have like beverages and stuff services by the pool or they there... do you just but you have to pay for it and they are not inexpensive but maybe you could bring your own <laughs> soda drinks and stuff i think they frown on that but ah they they're not gonna say anything <laughs> all right so <laughs> i'm gonna have to conclude that interview okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's get started here. So uh, according to our training calendar here, we're supposed to be covering some advanced campaigns. Now, uh, let's see. I haven't even done any campaigns. So then all of this will be advanced. <laughs> and I have a listing coming up that I'm gonna wanna leverage command for. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the campaign section. Which one is it? Um, it is under opportunities, right? Yes. Ooh, the little megaphone. Okay. Yep. The little megaphone. It's a campaign. Mm. Why is it a megaphone? We're announcing to the world. We want to be heard. <laughs> We want to be heard. Okay. So since we want to be heard, let's go ahead and well, one thing we want to make sure. Let's go, let's take a step back real quick. Let's go to settings row uh, quickly here. And there are a couple things that we want to make sure are signed in. One of them is the post scheduling for Facebook. So make sure that you have that connected there. Uh, if you have Twitter, connect that there as well. And 
if you're using Twitter for ads, make sure that you have the Twitter ads manager activated in Twitter so that this can be connected. The other parts that you'll need is the Facebook ads manager connected. So you will just sign into your Facebook account, connecting the specific page that you want to post to. Uh, every time you run a campaign, uh, it, will, it will be available there. And then Google AdWords. Now Google AdWords is a little bit different. It's its own little beast that I think requires its own class, honestly, because uh, it's a little different. You'll also want to have command email hooked up. So if you don't have this connected, uh, it might prove a little bit difficult. Pretty sure I do. And sending your email campaign. So all those, you know, those blast emails that everybody's going to be sending out <laughs> this month. You know, meet me this day and get your free pumpkin pie, blah, 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 blah. You know, like there's a lot of pie giveaways happening this month. Uh, that being one of them, right? Um, say, for example, if the top golf event tomorrow wasn't with agents and we wanted it to be with clients and it was a client appreciation event, uh, what would we do in that case? Well, we could create an email blast about that, sending it to all our past clients saying, hey, come join me here. You know, I just want to show some appreciation for you bringing a uh, business to my company and helping me enrich my family's life through uh, that business and come join us and have some fun, right? So that'd be one other thing that you can do. Okay, so now that we covered that piece, I mean, MailChimp is there too. You can choose if you want to use MailChimp or command email. I like using command email because, well, we already get 5,000 for free every month. And it's pretty inex inexpensive to upgrade your plan, right? So, so far I've sent four emails. I have a long way to go to max out. <laughs> um, so you should be good there. So as long as these settings are in place, yay, it's back. We should be good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and jump onto the megaphone here. Oh, we got a latecomer here. All right, so campaigns. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have a payment card on file, right? So make that payment card, place it, add it, make sure it's there. That way you can uh, actually run these things because they, they do cost a little bit to run. So real mailers, that's gonna be for your direct mail. Google AdWords, we already talked about that a little bit. We're not touching this yet. We'll mostly be looking at can, command email, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now you, you'll notice that we didn't see anything on the on Instagram within our settings, and that's okay. The reason for that is because if you have a Facebook business page, you can create an Instagram business account connected to that Facebook account. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So let me pull this up real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you a little something here of how it would look. Jennifer's name just changed from Jennifer Lauren to Jennifer Ritchie. Yep, that's me. It goes off of my Facebook name and Lauren's my middle name. I keep having to like manually change it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry good that's funny uh, let's see here okay here i'm gonna bring this tab in here can you see that right you can see that that connected information and stuff yes, yes. okay yes so within the Facebook page settings, there is a section for Instagram right there where you can connect your account, right? So you can actually create your Instagram account right from your Facebook page. And there you have it. You have a business Instagram account. Makes it super simple. Um, and that's how the Instagram channel pops up. It's because it is connected to my Facebook. You notice I'm logged into Facebook but yet we're still seeing the Instagram account information. So that's how, okay. 
Okay, so now that we got that piece covered, let's go ahead and take a look at this dashboard here and what it does. So I haven't spent a thing, just being honest, I haven't spent anything in terms of an ad or anything like that. But, and you'll see that here too, but if you had anything going in the last 30 days, you'll, you'll see how much you spent, how many leads you've received on it, how many campaigns you've run uh, by your, dis by your uh, various channels there, and what your engagements look like. You know, how many likes did you get on Facebook? How many likes did you get on Instagram? It's kind of cool. You can change this to year to date. You can change this to past 12 months. But as it looks like, I have ran $20 on Facebook, right? It's saying that for sure, for sure. Saying I got five leads, that's not accurate. Um, I had 15 leads on my first, my first ad, so that's not correct. Uh, campaigns says I did one. So in that one, I did 15. And aid engagement, um, I know I had likes, it's just not reflecting correctly here. But that's okay, this is just one little thing that you can see. Of course, when you're running your ads on the various platforms, you can see the performance on the site itself. So uh, other ways of saying it. All right, the next option that we have over is lead to goal. So if we wanted to get 157 leads out of it. Got a quarter of the way there, it looks like. Um, connected accounts for paid ads. There's my Facebook account, my Twitter account, and there's my email account. So that's my command email. Social posts, I have it connected for Facebook and for Twitter. You can manage these here. Right? You can connect, disconnect, whatever you like. So it looks like it's only reflecting my MailChimp here. Well, that's okay. I haven't used MailChimp. I use the command email as the option. I'll show you how to do that too. Quick posts, um, create your own neighborhood video. That's in designs, uh, protect your credit score. That's kind of cool. Aromatherapy is great. You know, it gives you a little a few things. It's gonna show you, if you click on it, it'll become a post for you and you can decide where it's gonna display this little thing. It's kind of cool. Like they designed some things for you just to use right now. <laughs> I think that's awesome. I have a question. Sure. If somebody were to just get on Facebook today and post something really cool, uh, what's the difference the, between that and a campaign? A post and a campaign? Yeah. Okay. So a campaign is it's to, well, on Facebook, it's to gain leads. Right, so you want people to register for some kind of information, oh. right? So uh, with that registration, you're getting their name, their email address and phone number is what you're targeting. And I'll show you that here in a second. A post is just a post. You know, if I have a picture that I like or I'm celebrating something that I like, um, say for example, we all had, how many Veterans Day posts did we have yesterday? Probably a lot. A ton, there were a ton, right? A ton of Veterans Day posts, and none of them were on a campaign saying, uh, Happy Veterans Day. If you like to learn more about home buying, click here. I didn't see any of those. You know, we kind of business was kept out of it. But if there was something that we were trying to sell or trying, trying to gain intent awareness about or gain leads about, then that would make it a campaign. And we'll, we'll show you the difference here in a second. So this right here is just a post. So it's just out there. It's just a little informational thing and that's it. It's just like posting a picture. Who's the selfie taker in here? Randy, I know you are. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, on that occasion, but they're usually very funny faces though. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's like people take pictures of themselves all the time. It's like we are... <laughs> Our, our society, our generation likes to document absolutely nothing so many times in a day. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's pretty interesting. Uh, but that's pretty much what a post will consist of. It's just a picture, some words, and that's it. This is what I ate for lunch today, post. This is where I went on vacation, post. Right? It's more just talking about what's, what they're doing. Um, in life, not in, not necessarily in business. 
Okay, so this is what the way the post will look. If I were to post it on Facebook, it'll kind of it'll have that picture in there and then say blah blah blah. It's just an example of what it will look like. I don't want to schedule it, so I'm not going to. I'm gonna just exit out of that. All right. What else do we have here? We have some training tips down below. There's some advanced tips. We have a whole plethora of other bits of information regarding your uh, campaign and stuff like that. This is a great resource, by the way. KW Connect, Command Your Business. It's a really cool place. All right, so that covers the dashboard. Now, paid ads is the next section over. So let's go ahead and click on that. And, and what we're clicking on up here, these are the things that you've already done. These are filters. Think of these as just the filters. So as you can see, these are things that I've already run in the past or have drafted up and it has nothing to do with anything about creating anything. That portion comes from up here and the create a new campaign. Okay. So paid ads, this is what, what you'll see. Once you get them going, see what the status is, the failed portion on this one actually ended up being Twitter, Twitter failed on that one, but it didn't run on Facebook, which is pretty cool. Um, I like that a lot. I like that it did work very well. Um, and you can see some other examples that are created. What was that? Uh, one other question, like where it says duration, 10 days. Um, is that how long, or sometimes it says 30 days and stuff like that. Um, like, couldn't somebody just remember to post the same thing over and over? That's not what this is. We're not, what we're looking at is not the paid ad. We're talking about uh, what you're referring to are posts. What this is, is a paid ad. So it's static for 10 days. Like it'll, Facebook will use its algorithm to place the, place the ad with people based on their interests and other things like that. And it'll run for 10 days straight. Okay. Sorry to be annoying everybody. <laughs> you're not annoying. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You're full of questions. We like it. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. So thanks for the question. Yeah. So you can see active ones. You can filter them even further. I have a lot of drafts in here because I teach this class quite a bit. Uh, past things that have been successful. Anything that's archived. I haven't archived anything. Maybe I should. Let me show you how that works. So I go into draft. I click on the three dots here and I just click on archive. Yep, I want to archive that one. So there it went. And now it'll appear in the archive section. I can then restore the campaign or just get rid of it altogether. Right, pretty cool. All right, so let's just move on down the list here on our filters. What we'll see on the email section. Um, Here's an Ignite email example that I did during the Ignite series. It tells me I have quite a bit of emails left, how many I've actually sent uh, for the campaign purpose, which has been zero, which is exactly right. Now this number here for your emails also includes your smart plans. So if you have any emails going out as part of your smart plans, it will deduct the emails from your total there. Um, just keep that in mind. And you can create lists from here, like who you're gonna send these emails to, right? So if I wanna send it to my buyer list here, I have 57 buyers. And the way you do that is you click on create list. And all I did was select tags and I scrolled down to buyer and then that was it. And then I went select all, there's 52 rather than 57, right? And then I hit confirm. But since I already did it, it's already in existence. So we're good. Yes. Yep. Um, I had a problem with that. I mean, how, how do you select every one of your contacts if you want to? Everybody, every single one. Um, let's see. Well, you wouldn't be doing it. You wouldn't be doing it by creating a list. Because it only does 100 at a time. I tried to do a mass email and um, it failed, but then it showed it sent it 
instead of the, like 300 people, it, should, it sent 600 and something and zero opens and four bounces. It was, I don't know what's going on. That's something that we'll have to examine. I, you know, I, uh, I want to take a look at it with you to see what you did specifically. It'd be kind of tough for me just to kind of guess. It's like sh shooting in the dark and hoping I hit a bullseye. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make, we'll make that time later. Um, Give me one second here, guys. I'm getting a phone call. It's probably up. And I was right. Okay, cool. So, sorry about that, guys. Uh, it's the thing when you're in production as well as, as well as being a teacher. Okay, so let's see here. Um, emails, we are, that's where we were. We can create your lists. Again, you can see what had gone out, what had been scheduled, archived, draft, and everything all at once. And here you also have the option to upgrade your account to boost your email count per month if you'd like. Uh, as I mentioned, you get 5,000 free. You can keep going pretty pretty high, actually. Let's just go ahead and show you how high that goes. All right, so then it'll take you to the KW Marketplace. And then for 10 bucks, you can double the amount of emails you have and so on and so forth, up to 50,000 emails. Gosh, I would love to have a database that huge where I send that many emails in a month. <laughs> That's that's a quite a that's quite a stack right there. But anyway, this is where you would go if you want to upgrade your plan. Okay. Any questions so far before I continue moving on? Nope. Okay. Cool. Direct mail. It's going to be kind of similar to what you what you've always uh, already seen. Here are your drafts. How many mailed out? To how many recipients and and leads. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the leads are being tracked, to be honest with you, um, since it is a physical postcard that's getting sent out. You know, it's not like there's a little sensor on it that sends something via cell service or something, letting you know that they touched it and saw it or whatever. Um, it's a little different. And I'll tell you how much you spent. Now, here are the social posts. This, is, this part is a little bit different compared to the others. These aren't, this isn't just the filter, this is the actual component itself. So we could create a social post that'll run for Saturday. You can upload something specific uh, or something that you made, say you made it in Canva or something, and you wanna upload it there, you can. If you wanna just jump right into your design library, you can do that as well, right? Which is what I'm doing here. So I will choose this one just as an example. So you can upload multiple images actually, which is kind of cool. All right, so I'm just gonna crop it. You can add up to four photos with it, which is great. Uh, add the DBA logo. If it's already not, if it's not part of your uh, design there, which it should be, or at least it can be when you're making it in the design section. If you're doing multiple photos, how does it display all at once, like in a frame or? No, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, display it as a frame. It's just like a um, carousel of pictures. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the way I've seen it so far. You can include the ownership statement. Who knows what the ownership statement is? Every office is independently owned and operated. Perfect. Yep. That's what it will say. So it'll be really small <laughs> showing that there as well. Um, is that a must? Well, it, it's required for marketing materials. So yeah, uh, in some cases it is. But if it's just a little picture, not so much all the time. But if you're going to run an ad or something like that, yeah. 
make sure to include it. Um, for marketing, what we do require, at least with KWSA, is displaying the DBA logo, right? So the one that I have here, right there, they would like to have that on there. Okay, so yeah, great question. Uh, you can upload a video too, which is really awesome. See this one over here on the, this little example right here on the right. You can create a neighborhood video um, in designs. And let me see if I can. Actually, I'm gonna click neighborhood video and I'm gonna just pick one, right? So here's Ore Valley that I did as an example one time. And that's the way it looks. Pretty cool. Has anybody used those yet? I made one. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, you can change it around and it's really easy to make. Definitely verify the information that you find or actually have um, using the data from the MLS. Has everything you need there um, to make sure it's all up to date. You can add a link which is, you know, just like throwing in a URL, uh, download my app at this link here, boom, and then add your link right, as an example. And you can schedule it for a different day or you can have it published immediately. Pretty awesome. I like this, this feature. Uh, anybody have any questions on schedule posting, uh, social posting? Has anybody tried thinking about making their post, like operating with the notion of, uh, let's see, how about adding your, making your posts for the week? Have, has anybody done that yet? Where they thought about what you wanted to post Monday, Tuesday, through Friday, Saturday, or whatever you like, and actually take two hours and schedule them all out so you can just set it and forget it. Has anybody thought of that yet? Thought about doing that? Or can see the benefit in doing that? definitely see the benefit big dan has said that he's done that um i personally haven't thought of enough material to post out a whole week okay now so what they say rule of thumb for um social media posting business-wise is 20 percent of your posts should be centered around business right so if you're only making one post a day for five days, then only one of those should be about business. Everything else should be something community-based um, or something fun that you like to do, something cool that you saw, um, something like that, right? And the goal is to gain or attract engagement, right? So if somebody, if somebody comments on your post, are you engaging them by just clicking the like or hitting the little heart button? Quick answer is no. <laughs> that's not it. That, that's not what you're looking for. That's not, that doesn't count as an interaction. You know, uh, someone says, oh, this is a great pick, Robin. Where did you see this? Answer the question. Oh, I saw it here. You thinking about going? Now you're engaging. Now you're asking questions. Yeah, I really want to go. I'm looking to go this weekend. Hey, I am too. I'll see you over there. Right? There you go. There's something else happening with that type of an interaction. And that's what you want. You want engagement in that regard. Um, and also with your business, you know, if you if you have something coming up, like, I don't know, a, a class of some sort, then you would want to get some engagement and say, hey, who is interested in joining this class and learning how to do this and learning how to do that? Or who would see the benefit in doing this? Who would see the benefit in doing that? Right? They would, that's, you get people that say, yeah, I want to do it. How do I get involved? Great. There you got your engagement. That's what we're looking for here. Okay. So let's go ahead and click out of this and let's show you how to make a post. Who, what would you like to learn how to make?
don't all answer all at once. I want to learn how to like an ad for my coming soon listing. An ad for your coming soon listing. All right, cool. So step one, we're going to create a new campaign just like this. Right. And here is, we're going to click and you want a social ad, right? Like on Facebook, something like that. Yes. Okay. So we're going to click, oh, sorry, let me back that up. We're going to select social ad. Right. And we want to advertise listing, right? Or do you want to attract buyers? What would you like? I want to advertise the listing. Okay, cool. So this will be Robin's test. Okay. That's what we'll call it internally. And you said you want this to run on Facebook, right? Yes. All right. Let's click on Instagram too, just because we can. All right, and now we're gonna set up this campaign. Okay, step one is we need to, oh, excuse me. We need to get some information in here, right? So let's see. Robin, you got an address for me? So it's not mm -hmm. in the MLS yet. That's okay. We're going to see what we can find. 2311 North Camino Mateo. What was that last part? Mateo, M A T E O. Oh, all those things. Let's do that. All right. Has it been listed before, do you know? Not for, well, since like 2006. Okay, so it may not, may not show up then. Okay, cool. Well, let's say, let's, let's just use some examples here. I'm just gonna click on this one and let's see what, see what we can muster up here. So you can change listings if you want to, or you could you can manipulate some things. Let's see. So you want to do it coming soon. Let's actually try something a little bit different. I'm going to go back here. Okay. And I am going to, let's try this again. I'm going to use a different method here. Okay. One that doesn't require me to pick up an address. So we're going to click on other. Okay. We're going to set up. And now we can add. Oh, I don't want to do that either. Let's see. It changed this interface a little bit here. Makes it a little bit different. So here you're going to have to, instead of relying on the listing component, Robin, we're going to have to just write in some information here and then add some photos to this. Okay. Okay. And then in like designs, I could make a coming soon photo that I brought in. Yeah, you can do that. Yep. You would upload the photo in designs and make it say coming soon and all this stuff for sure. Um, what about, um, I have an idea, like, like what if you're just starting on as an agent and you want to do like, um, like your yourself is coming soon, like you're coming soon as an agent. Could you do a campaign about that? <laughs> <laughs> um, like one of those countdown sort of things. Like I'm taking my, taking my test and then I'm going to be an agent soon and because I know there's a couple of like brand new agents and I just thought what they could use. But anyways, let's continue with Robbins. Let's get it out there. I want to see this ca campaign. Hold on, Steph. So based on that, I think that's kind of a little weird gray area. Um, Cause you don't, you can't advertise that you're an agent without being an agent. Um, so I'm going to say that that shouldn't be done at this point. Okay. Um, double check with the broker on that one. 
because uh, it is a weird gray area and it can bring up some liability because when you're not an agent, well, for one, if you're not an agent, you wouldn't have access to command. Like that's the way that would, you wouldn't be signed on. You wouldn't have access to the system to do anyway. So um, yeah, I would say that that one's a no-go, <laughs> but always that's verify with a broker. I'll think of some more no-go's guys, don't worry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Robin, in that case, it's going to be a little bit different running it as a coming soon. Um, now, with with the way the rules work with NAR, we have 21 days maximum of coming soon advertisement, right? Right. So it's actually like the 21 days is going to start on Saturday. And I am going to put it in the MLS as coming soon. But then my photographer isn't coming until Monday and pictures will be later. Okay. So let's see. So there is a coming soon section. If it's marked as coming soon. Look, revisit this again, Robin. Okay. Once you have it and the coming soon status in MLS come Saturday, check this again. Okay. Okay. And it should, uh, it should populate in one way or another. Maybe not in your only my listings, maybe all listings it might show up. So let, let's, let's keep hovering on that one for now. In the meantime, another way you can advertise your coming soon listing is uh, via the real mailers or the, the uh, direct mail campaigns, you can do it that way. It may be a little bit simpler. It doesn't require as much setup okay. in terms of a listing. A lot of different, a lot of different options. Um, I wasn't, ah, let's see, let's see. How can I, how can I do this since I'm not prepared to do this? Um, well, let's see how fast we can go. Jennifer, you ready? A little quiet over there. All right, so I'm gonna create a little something based on my listings, right? Just as an example. So I'm gonna create a little design quickly here. Actually, which way, which way I'll go? I'll probably go social here on this one, okay. Build up a workspace. Um, I do want to do a coming soon. Let's see. Something simple. I want something very simple that I can quickly manipulate into what I need. Okay, something like this. All right, so I'll use that. And of course I can edit these words here to say it coming soon. And we can change the size of this font. 95 and a half is pretty big. So let's go down to 36 isn't there yet either. Yeah, let's go 62. I think that looks, I think that looks fine. What do y'all think? Looks good. Yeah. Okay, so looks like I have a listing that's already live, so I'm just gonna base it off that information. Five bath, three bath. Right, so. That's that square feet. Ah, that's not what I wanted. Okay. okay. If 
By the way, does it hurt to memorize a little bit about your listings <laughs> to make it go a little bit faster? All right, so I'm gonna, let's see, I'm going to, I'm gonna add a photo here. Hold on one second, I need to get something saved here so this can make sense. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, everybody. I'm just trying to quickly do this as quickly as possible. Uh, either case, I hope it's a decent example to show how quickly you can do things later on. All right, so here we go. I'm going to click on Let's do this one. All right, so I just imported a photo here. There it is. I'm gonna drag it over. There we go. That's a little bit cleaner. Right? So there it is. I'm all done with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and save this now. So that didn't take long at all. We're going to save that sucker. Oh, we got one more thing to do. I'm going to replace my DBA logo right here with this one. Boom. I already have my ownership statement there. Each office is independently owned and operated. And just for good measure, I'm going to include this one as well. And this one doesn't have to be gigantic. We can make this a little bit small right there in the corner. How's that look? I would make that bigger for myself. Um, what part? The last one you just put on. I can read pretty much that, but like the little tiny thing. Um, and then also just, um, and everybody, wouldn't you think that you'd like find your name on it or something? Or, or because it's on your post, it's already coming from Jesse Rojas. That's it. It's already coming from me. Okay. Okay. So that's all done. I'll leave it as is because it's going to be, it's, it's small. I don't want this to be the prominent thing. This is what I want. I want people to see this and where it's coming from, right? So I think I'm good with this. All right. So let's go back over here. Uh, go back to command here and go back to campaigns. And we're going to create another paid ad. Social other. I haven't even saved this once, Robin, but we're doing it anyway. Set up campaign, configure, I'm gonna select media, browse designs, that's the one. Just waiting for it to process. <laughs> I wasn't ready to use. What does that even mean? There we go. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and do square. That's good. There we go. Now we have it coming soon, right? Looks good. Um, 
your do that but before I save any of that I'm going to come down here and I am going to select the proper page which will be this one and this option automatically shows up where it says use space with lead generation form that's what I want I got a call to add uh, action right here by learn more right so we get a little update here and it needs a landing page I didn't create one but we can, we can choose one real quick. Just download my app. We'll just use that one. Um, contains errors. What? That's weird. Okay, there's some interesting, interesting things happening here with designs. In any case, make sure that's there. Add text, we want at least the headline. Now, one thing I want to point out with this is because I had chosen to go with the Facebook um, lead generation form, it removes here in the add text, the description requirement, right? So let me let me show you what I mean there. I'm gonna check that button and go back to add text. And now it's required. You see that denoted by the little red asterisk, mm -hmm. right? So that is telling me it's required, but because I come down here and I check on use Facebook lead generation form, it now no longer requires a description. Okay. Okay. So be mindful of that as you're going through that. Uh, headline um, Contact me today. Before it's, before it's too late or something. Right. There you go. Quick little thing right there. So in your case, Robin, I would suggest maybe having like a little landing page maybe created about it. But then again, waiting until the coming soon portion is actually done, maybe. Right. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps. Right. I know, I know I kind of flew through all that stuff to get to this point, but at least I, at least I hope it shows that you can do it. Oh, definitely one way or another you know um and then so this is the weird part for me is this right here i don't understand how it's not liking it because it is a proper url and it's one that it's one that uh is provided by kw so for it to say that it's not working or is invalid, it's kind of weird to me. Where did you get it from? What was that question? Where did you get it from? What, what, where would I get that URL from? What's it for? So oh, for download download app. App? Mm. Yeah. Even if I put it in my agent site, it gives you it gives you a problem, right? Say the SSL certificate is is gone. Okay. Right, which is weird because it shouldn't show that. And even for download my app, the URL isn't working for it. And something just happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh -oh. Did a little weird, weird thing here. Anyway, I hope that helps. Sorry we weren't able to continue with it. It looks like something's happened here. Yeah, it just blanked out and it's no longer there anymore. Didn't even get saved as, a, as an example. Um, but yeah, it, it can happen. You can definitely do it. 
it's much simpler if you um, it's much simpler if you if you do it while it's active mm -hmm. or at least published as a coming soon listing definitely it would be a lot easier um, but you can still still accomplish something there. Um, yeah so with only three minutes before uh, 2 p.m. arrives do you have any questions at all anything I can help you with in addition to I, for me, no, um, I just was like learning how you are zipping around command. That's how you do designs, right? Was in command. Yeah. All this was in command. I, yeah, I did it. I play with it a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not ready for the maybe campaigns, but I learned now how to do a little bit more designs. I've seen you do that a few times now and I just got to get my hands on it. Yeah, just get on it. Yeah, just get in there, break stuff. Like I just did, I broke it somehow. Just get in there and break it. Um, that's the only way it can get better, honestly. Um, Not be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. Just try it, you know. Um, but, you know, if, if, if it's going to be something that you're not wanting, definitely don't spend money on it. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, get your practice in. I think it'll be really, really good for you. Uh, Robin, what do you think? How do you think right. you're going to tackle this one? Well, I like it. I mean, I do think I'll definitely wait until I've got the MLS listing to pull from. And I will work on making a landing page because um, I like that. But it's very powerful. I just want to leverage it more and more. Yeah, for sure. Um, the more the more you practice with it, the more you can lean on it for sure. It, it's going to be really good. Um, Thank you, Jesse. That was very uh, informative. All right. Well, all right, ladies. Thanks so much for hanging around, and I'm glad a little something was learned today. Um, let me know what your experience is like next week, and uh, we'll we'll talk more about it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye, Jesse. Bye-bye.